in a world where the Swiss watchmakers are boosting almost quarterly the retail prices due to the increased inflation rate, for some people watchmaking is more important than profit. And believe it or not, it is still possible to find a genuine Swiss microbrand manually assembled with a Swiss movement inside for only $600. Well. Yes, my friends, the Peren watch brand is born in the land of Dracula. So Vlad Dracul, cum îi zicem noi. The brand was founded and registered in Romania, in Transylvania more precisely, but exclusively crafted in Switzerland, where Andy, the owner, has the Peren HQ. So we will discover branding and identity-wise how a genuine Transylvanian connoisseur adds small and subtle details and arouses curiosity around the Dracula mystery transposed into a wristwatch. And nope, it's not about blood. Firstly, by color, as you notice, the dial of the Perennera Rogue is not black, but a greenish tone which does not seek to emulate any military camouflage tone. But it refers to Lacul Draculi or the Devil's Lake, which has a green-blue color and a legend behind. The lake is part of the unique Nera Gorges from Transylvania, which inspired the name of this diver. And last but not least, the logo of the Perren Watch, which is a simplified idea of the fangs of Dracula. Hmm, it could have been my mustache as well. As identity, the Peren Nera Rogue is a military diver watch made on a limited run. This is a modern interpretation of the ultra-rare vintage Tornek Radial TR900, a military diver which is a Black Palm 50 Phantoms issued by the US military for the US Navy underwater demolition team program which was the beginnings of the Navy SEALs. But because of the American laws prioritizing domestic watches for the Army, the diver was branded as Tornek Radial. Now, as first impressions, you can immediately feel the practicality purpose of it, because we are talking about a diver with military pedigree consisting in a compact and robust sizing, matted surfaces, drill lugs, a blasted case finishing and legible hands and markers. Everything being reimagined with modern tweaks and features that makes the diver more purposeful and playful for underwater maneuvering. As appearance, I never had a completely black bezel diver, so it is very interesting how the blasted case is isolated from the superior part, so it gives the feeling of a sandwich, having the black dial on top, the blasted case in the middle, and the black NATO on the bottom. Now, contrast-wise, it is very interesting how the watch highlights the minutes and the diving markers, and I want to show you how the watch behaves in obscure environments, and there seem to be a prioritization of the essential diving elements, and if we count the loom out, the contrast of the white hands is very effective and legible, which communicates as intensity, not necessarily with the loomed minute markers, but with the ones from the bezel. Because the black PVD bezel helps also the inner ring to highlight the vintage inspired diving markers. And even though the white markers are not loomed, excepting for the 12 o'clock triangle in low light conditions, they are very visible, being able to distinguish the 15 minutes cardinal markers from the secondary ones. In detail, the dial as I described it has a dark blue green hue, which I mentioned represents the color of the Devil's Lake located in the Transylvanian Nera Gorges, and looks like I found myself a place to visit this year. And if the watch is worn on an olive green strap, the dial blends with the green tone. Also in low light conditions, it becomes darker and ensures a better contrast with the hands and the markers. From the sides towards the interior, we can spot an angled chapter ring that reminds us of the layout of the Tudor Pelagos, because of the trim slots which hosts the pillow loomed markers as I call them. And then at 12 at 6 o'clock we have discreetly printed the brand, the name and the depth rating which balances the dial very well. And I also love the Nera label as being made in a yellow color accent. And speaking of balance, the date wheel is made in the same color as the dial surface, to serve the purpose but to preserve the symmetry of the watch. The white pencil hands are very legible, as I described earlier, communicating with the bezel markers. They are finished on a lacquered white surface, and in the center they are filled with Swiss Superminova. The result is very cool, in low light conditions the loom feels like tritium tube baguettes. The black PVD bezel features a coinage pattern but angled, so no matter the position of the hands with or without gloves, the bezel can be easily actioned. As specifications, the Nera Rogue offers an ideal size. We have a full blasted case, measuring in diameter 39mm, with 48.8mm as lug to lug distance, 12.8mm in height, 20mm between the lugs and weights 94.5g on a NATO strap combo. 
As waterproofness, the beautiful embossed crown offers 200 meters war resistance. The watch features a unidirectional bezel with 120 clicks, a flat sapphire crystal with three anti-reflective layers, and as luminescence we have the BGW9 or the Swiss Superluminova lumed dots markers and the 12 o'clock triangle. If we flip the watch, we have a beautiful blasted case back, which is inspired from the Tornek rival watch, having the engraved text, if found, contact petandwatches.com. And inside, surprise, we have a solid Swiss movement for the price range, which is the automatic Celita SW200-1 with a date complication. The movement is regulated in-house before it's sealed into the case, has an anti-shock Niva Flex mainspring, has 2800 VPH and 38 hours power reserve. The watch costs around $600, which qualifies it as one of the most affordable Swiss made divers with a Swiss movement inside. I mean, the Steinhardt divers were the most affordable timekeepers with a Swiss movement inside, but due to the worldwide price increase, they are positioned as well close or exceeding the $600 price tag. Now, on my wrist, measuring 7 inch or 17 centimeters in circumference, the Nera Rogue sits very well. The design and the specs are ideal, so there is no doubt about it. And because of the contrasted combo of the dial and the bezel against the case, the Nera Rogue is a strap monster as well. And besides the standard NATO strap, which complements very well the watch, there is a bracelet combo which continues and closes the volume of the case, isolating in this context the black bezel and the dial from the superior contrast of the metal. And as summer options, the watch works very well on a green rubber strap because it communicates with the dial and it brings a vibe of military to it or better on a posh combo with a Tiffany leather strap, like this premium Gentile handmade strap. And this is just a sample of how many colors and types of straps this diver can host. I will leave also the links to the straps in the description if you're interested. And after reviewing the specs, we can conclude that the Peren Nera Rogue offers the sweet spot when it comes to sizing, the practical diver profile, the solid specs and the manual assembly in Switzerland. And for this reason, I arrested this watch and now it's part of the Brave Peters collection. Because I am proud to own a Romanian brand having strong Transylvanian roots and because I was impressed by the passion of Andy for watchmaking and the honest offering proposed for the money asked. And the thing to highlight here, every time I'm getting into a new collaboration, I always choose, filter and contact the owners of the brands just to make sure that the products are relevant and worthy of the Brave Peters audience. So I suggest you to take a look at the Peren Watches website and find out more about the Peren watchmaking and its roots. I'd say it's worth it. And I'm obviously curious to know, I am biased of being proud of this Swiss Romanian brand or this diver is indeed a good looking tool. Please let me know in the comments section. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and until next time, be brave, Bob. Stay safe.